Hey everyone, it's Kristen, and today we're doing this colorful stained glass skull makeup look. To start out this look, I'm using a white eyeliner to sketch out how we want the skull to look. Once we have the general shape, I start to fill in with eyeshadow. I decided to use eyeshadow because I wanted a very blended, bright, colorful look. And I find that sometimes eyeshadow is easier to blend. You could use face paint as well if you'd prefer. Here, I'm starting with a bright yellow eyeshadow on the forehead and blending it down. Then for the outer grooves on the forehead, I'm using some pink. And then right along the edge, I'm using some red. Using the red to create some depth. When deciding to do this look, I wondered if it would be best to fill in the color first or if it would be better to do the design. And I decided that filling in the color first would probably be better so I'd have a better blend of color. I wanted it to look like light was coming through the colorful glass. Here I'm adding white to the middle of the forehead to kind of create a spotlight or kind of highlighted area in the middle of the face. Then adding more yellow underneath the eyes. Then I decided to use an amber brown color. Brown is not a color I normally would think of when thinking of colored glass. But I was looking at reference photos of other stained glass. And these sort of had an amber or brown look to them. So I decided to use this for the bottom part of the face, kind of creating some more depth in the skull. Next to fill in the eye sockets, I'm using blue. Here I'm going around the edges with a dark blue. When doing this look, I didn't want to have to block out my eyebrows, so I decided to make sure that this shape was going to include my eyebrows in the inside. That way I could use darker colors to disguise them. Then I use a medium blue shade to start filling in the eye sockets. About halfway down, I start to lighten the shade and eventually it goes into white at the bottom of the eye sockets. Then I'm using dark blue at the top this is both to kind of disguise my eyebrows even more and to create sort of an ombre glass look. Then I'm filling in the nose with blue as well. And I definitely should have filled in the darker blue areas before I did the yellow. There was a significant amount of fallout. I wasn't exactly sure what colors I wanted to use for this, but if I had known this prior, I would have done the blue first. Here I'm starting to outline the teeth. I used white eyeliner to sort of create the shapes that I wanted the teeth to be. 
but I will be going over this with white face paint later on. But I wanted to make sure I had the right shape and size of the teeth before filling in the rest of the colors. For the hollows of the mouth, I used a dark blue to outline it. Then to fill it in, I used a dark blue at the top and faded down into a lighter blue. Then I used some more pink and red for the back of the face, blending into the yellow on the front. Then I extended the red around the outside of the face and going into the hairline. Then I added a bit of white highlight to the chin and on the cheekbones. Then I used white eyeliner again to sketch out the neck and chest area. And for the record, this may not be anatomically correct. I was looking at several different inspiration photos of other stained glass that was made to look like skeletons. And I did make the bones in the most realistic shape. They are supposed to resemble what they'd kind of look like if they were in a stained glass painting. Then I began to fill in the bones, again going with sort of a yellow color. And on the outer sides, I start using the amber shade to create sort of a shadowed, rounded sort of look to them.
Then I'm filling in the open space around the bones with blue. And again, definitely should have done this part first. Now going over top the teeth with the white face paint, making them more defined in the shape that I want them to be and making them more opaque. Then I am outlining the teeth. In stained glass, you usually see sort of a thick outline. Then I'm outlining the other features of the face and the bones on the chest. And here we're making this stained glass design. I'm using an eyeliner brush with black face paint and just kind of making the design as I see fit. I was looking at several different inspiration photos of the shapes for stained glass some of them are rounded, some of them are not. And I was actually kind of surprised to see in most of the artwork that both sides are not necessarily the same. They're not symmetrical. Kind of filling in the shapes I thought were needed, creating some interesting shapes throughout. Some had more intricate, smaller work, and then some of them were bigger pieces. So I don't think there's really any rules to how you make your design. I do think it was the right decision to put the color down first and then the design because I feel like the sort of ombre blended look makes it look like it's lighted from within, kind of like stained glass would look. And so really you can have a lot of fun with this and do whatever kind of design you like. You can make them more small and intricate or larger pieces. It's really up to you. And you're going to do this to all the sections, even the dark kind of blue empty spaces, if you will. I went ahead and put the stained glass on those as well. The only thing I didn't fill with any sort of design was the teeth because I kind of felt like they were sort of the design in themselves, each individual little pieces of the stained glass. Also, when I went along doing this, I decided that the white teeth were way too stark. It just didn't look right. So later on, I do make them yellow. Just keep that in mind for later.
And here I outlined all of the bones on the neck and chest so that they would keep their form and you could still see that there was a skeleton there. But then I added stained glass design sections within each piece. And here I'm going over the teeth with yellow. They just looked far too white. It didn't go with the rest of the look. And that completes our colorful stained glass skull skeleton makeup look. I really love a fun colorful look and this one was so much fun to do. Let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon.